Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with Zach to play a one versus one match. It's been a while since we played a two player game, so we figured we'd sneak one in. If you're new here and you'd like to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist, which will give you everything you need to get started. Link to it will be in the video description. And if you're interested in joining us for an episode, feel free to reach out in the comments and we'll see if we can make it happen. All right, so what do we have here, Zach? What have you brought us today? Uh, sometimes I like being evil, and today I am uh, indulging in that. So I'm playing an actual factual control list helmed by none other than Yumi, avid painter. Wow, okay, you're the, you're the villain today, fair enough. Yeah, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> wow, okay, well, for me, I'll be playing Tren, Academy Professor. I've played this deck before in a previous episode, but it didn't manage to take the win. So I'm bringing it back today in the hopes that I'll be able to edge one out this time. But we'll see how it goes against actual factual control. <laughs> All right, intros are done, mulligans have been complete. Let's begin the game. I get to go first, let's take it away. I'll play this location here, use my free draw. I think I'll go ahead and spend my first gold to play this card here, safeguard. And then I'll pass it over to you, Zach. Safeguard, huh? All right, so starting my turn, I'll drop a crowded auditorium. I will also drop research vessel. Cool. Exciting new card just added to the game. Well, I can start by taking my free draw. There's not a ton I can do here, so I'm going to start by just putting something on Crowded Auditorium. Yep. I will add a search counter to it, and then I will pass my turn. Very cool. Get gold for turn, use my free draw. I'm going to go ahead and play this card here, Royal Treasurer. He has Royal synergy, Treasurer. gain two. And I'll go ahead and drop this location here, putting the arrival ability, or using the arrival ability to give Royal Treasurer plus zero plus one, unlocking a synergy. Then I'll go ahead and gain that two. That was fast. Yeah. Then I'll go ahead and play Toll Collector. And then I'll go ahead and have the Safeguard campaign give Toll Collector Steadfast ability. So my Toll Collector is now Steadfast. All right. And then I'll use my last goal to put a search counter on Hidden Cave. And then I'll abandon Statue of a Good King to draw a card. I'll go ahead and play Hidden Waterfall. And then I'll pass it over like that. I already feel like I'm the one being controlled. How did that happen? <laughs> okay, start my turn. I will think about the karma the universe is giving me already <laughs> and consider what to do next. I'll start by taking my free draw. Mm -hmm. Good start. I will play a history education. Nice. And then, unfortunately, thanks to the toll collector, I can't do any of my locations abilities, I mean, so you can. I you will pay pass turn. Yeah, with one gold, hard to pay the extra. So sad. <laughs> Passing turn. Oh, doesn't feel good. No big deal, still early in the game. Get gold for turn, put phase counters. I will take my free draw. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play Private Tutor, and then we're gonna use Private Tutor's activated ability to give Royal Treasurer the following ability. Royal Treasurer now has the ability, this denizen's activation limit is increased by one. And then we're going to go ahead and have Safeguard, make my Private Tutor Steadfast, completing that campaign. And now that Synergy is unlocked, I can go ahead and activate his Synergy ability two times, getting myself four gold. Eepers. Then I'll go ahead and play Astute Scholar for three of that gold. I'll use his Arrival ability to draw two cards. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use one gold putting a search counter on this and gaining two. Then I will play and use Kind Counselor to increase Toll Collector's health by two. And then I'll go ahead and play this location, Grand Lecture Hall, because I control two or more denizens aligned to blue. I can use this arrival ability to draw a card, and then I'll go ahead and abandon it to draw one more card. And let's see, do I want to make any attacks? I think not. I'll pass that way. I will start my turn. I will put a counter on history education. I'm going to use it to draw a card. I'm going to drop a crowded auditorium. I will then take my free draw. Nice. Man. I will play a demoralize, and nice. that's about all I can do. So I will pass my turn. All right. Turn four, eh? Gold for the turn. I'll use my free draw. All right. 
then I'll go ahead and spend one gold to activate Kind Counselor to put two health on the Private Tutor. This unlocks Synergy. So I'll go ahead and activate Royal Treasurer Synergy two times, going up to seven gold. I'll use four of that to play Trend Academy Professor. Uh, I'll go ahead and play An Abandoned Familiar Road, draw another card. Uh, I'll go ahead and play Grand Gate, activating its arrival to draw a card because I control two or more denizens aligned to white. All right, and then I'll play this card, Watchtower Scout. Um, I have drawn a card due to an effect because of Grand Gate, so her insight is in fact unlocked. So I'll go ahead and activate her ability to give all these guys perceptive until my next turn. Mm -hmm. And then I'll end my turn scoring one, two, three, four, five times two points, going up to ten. For everybody at home, that's what they call the nuts. <laughs> yes. Well, add a counter here, add a counter here, draw off of history education. I will play a black mora powder. Very nice. I will then use it on Tren Academy Professor. All right. Um, hopefully giving me a little bit of time, but we'll see. Start by taking my free draw. I'll play a Crowded Library. I'm going to abandon it to draw a card. I'm going to play an Outmaneuver to dismiss your Royal Treasurer. Nice. To my hand it goes. And then that will be my turn. Oh, wait, hold on. I almost forgot Demoralize. Mm -hmm. Don't forget I'm going to have Demoralize make Toll Collector and private tutor All right. lose a power and health past my turn very timely blackmore powder let's see if i can dig myself out of this was uh, pretty important one yeah probably so... my most timely blackmore powder i think <laughs> nice uh, all right so i'm not gonna go uh i'm not gonna use my free draw yet i'm gonna spend two gold to play this card plan for the future i'm gonna look at the top three um this and this on the bottom and draw a card and then i'll go ahead and use my free draw now draw another card just trying to draw into an answer uh, i'm going to go ahead and play court advisor and history education and hidden cave i'll go ahead and abandon this one to draw a card hmm still don't think there's much of a point in me attacking except maybe with trend because making him more vulnerable is certainly not going to hurt me at this point so i'll deal one damage to your crowded auditorium with Tren, turning him hostile. I'll pass the turn, scoring zero points. Love to hear it. Starting my turn, add counters to my campaigns. So I'm going to have Demoralize Trigger on the Toll Collector, mm -hmm. knocking it out, and on, I'm going to say, the Private Tutor here. Nuts. I'm going to draw a card off History Education. Mm-hmm having it disappear, I suppose. All your locations are unlocked. Pretty excited about that, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I will play a Cunning Strategist. Oh, boy. I will activate Supply Cache. This will allow me to use Insight. Absolutely. Dismiss another Denizen. Trend, right? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? No, no, <laughs> not quite. I'm going to return Watchtower Scout right. to your hand. And I will then add a counter to Crowded Auditorium. Nice. Unfortunately, I can't be, can't use this last gold, so I will just pass my turn. Mm hmm. But you've definitely bought yourself a lot of time. Get my gold for turn, get my counter. That's the hope, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not going to use my free draw yet. I'm going to use my court advisor to look at the top two cards. Ah, perfect. Just what I was looking for. I'll use my uh -oh. free draw. I think that's just what I needed to dig myself out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and use my kind counselor to give two more health to my court advisor. And then I'm going to spend three or two, sorry, to play brace for impact, increasing these two denizens by three health each. And then I'll go ahead and play... Lorene. A bit of an uh-oh for me. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and have my trend attacking to your cunning strategist, removing him. Uh, all right, so I'll end my turn scoring myself nine points. Not quite enough to win the game, but my trend is finally free, mm. so we'll see how that goes. Uh, pass. Okay. Well, starting my turn. So I'm going to, with Demoralize, give minus three, minus three to Lorene. 
Mm -hmm. And I will also give minus three, minus three to the kind counselor here. I will have this cunning strategist attack into Loreen. Mm -hmm. I will displace your, I want to say, court advisor. Very cool. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do to stop you here. Hmm, so close. I will abandon Crowded Auditorium to draw a card, play an Obstructive Roadblock. Mm. I will see if I can't hopefully get anything at all by drawing a card off of my Crowded Auditorium. I will sell the Roadblock. I'm going to dismiss your Astute Scholar. Cutting strategist yeah, insight? With okay. the insight. I will then play an Obnoxious Name Caller. <laughs> so close so that's at least something but yes. it's not quite it i have played three cards i think indeed yes the so i mean i'll use that on kind counselor i suppose oh, so close inspiration minus one minus one so i will close. then take my free draw which i haven't done yet and that doesn't seem like that's going to be it wow all right well i will pass the turn to you accepting my defeat all right, so I need only play my champion. One, two, three, four. Ending my turn and scoring myself two points to go up to 21 and taking the game. That'll be it. All right, so we're back here to do another one. Since that game was pretty quick, I figured we can sneak another one in. So today's episode will be a double feature. And it looks like this time Zach was selected to go first. So go ahead and take it away, Zach. I will start my turn with my favorite turn one play. Colnea City of Light. Oh, beautiful. I will draw a card off of it. Play a Quiet Path. Arrival. Mm -hmm. I will look at the top card of my deck and choose whether I want it or not. In this case, I do not think I do. I'll put it on the bottom. Then I will drop a Obstructive Roadblock. Oh, Naming brutal. Supply Cash. Yep. Brutal. I will... Take my free draw, which I still haven't done yet. Yep. And that will then be my turn. Very good start for you. Um, okay, so play Statue of the Good King, use my free draw, and I'll go ahead and play Toll Collector. Uh, and I'll uh, use the arrival of Statue of the Good King to give one more health to Toll Collector. So you also cannot activate abilities unless you want to pay an extra one. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead So and... it would seem. I'll go ahead and pass like that. So, I will play a familiar road, naming purple. Cool. Play a history education. Very nice. And then I will play an obnoxious name caller. Oh. Inspiration will trigger. I'm going to put that on the toll collector. Yep. I will then take my free draw. I'm going to play, I'm going to be risky, and I'll play a black mora powder. Oh, okay, interesting. With no good targets but i want to be gold efficient i want to use it yeah i'll pass turn all right get my goal for turn draw my card for turn all right i'm actually not in the best spot here hmm okay i'll go ahead and play royal treasurer i'll play statue of the wise teacher buffing toll collector's health by one and unlocking synergy so i'll go ahead and gain two and then i'll play a second royal treasurer second one Let's go ahead and play Harmless Kitten for my last two gold. And then I'll abandon this to draw a card. And I'll pass like that. Yay. So add a counter onto History Education. And I will use that right away. Mm -hmm. I'll also take my free draw. I'm going to abandon Colnea to draw a card. I'm going to start by playing a Greedy Merchant. I will sell obstructive roadblock cool. because there's not really a target for it anymore. That's right. I abandoned it. <laughs> so you did. So you did. I will play a Yumi. Yep. There she is. There she is indeed. I'm going to have obnoxious name caller attack into toll collector, <laughs> making it hostile. <laughs> Obnoxious really like name call is not a fan of the IRS. I'll <laughs> put it that way. Um, and then I guess with my last gold, I may as well have Black Mora Powder go onto this Royal Treasurer. Mm, okay. 
And then that will be my turn. So I'll pass turn. Not quite enough inspiration from Yumi that turn. Get my gold for turn, use my free draw. All right, so this Royal Treasurer with no ability is going to attack into your obnoxious name caller, removing it in the process. Yep. I'll go ahead and play plan for the future. Look at the top three. Will do. Let's, let's just do that. Uh, and then draw a card. We'll play history education for one gold. Will do. So this guy's attacked, he's hostile. Debating if I want to attack into Yumi. I think I will. I'll have Royal Treasurer attacking to Yumi, dealing one damage. So you'll have to play will her again do. at least. All right, and I'll pass like that. Okay, so I'm going to add a counter to History Education. Mm -hmm. And I will use that right away. I'm going to play a Decorated Path Arrival. Look nice. at the top card. I will keep that there. Take my free draw. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start by playing Yumi. Cool. I will play an obstructive roadblock. I'm not going to name anything because I'm yeah. just going to immediately sell it. I will then abandon decorated path to draw a card. I'm going to do something a little goofy. I'm going to play a recall. It does have no valid targets, so <laughs> there's nothing I can target, yep. but it is going to trigger inspiration, and that's what we're right. going for. It unlocks our inspiration, which so, is, I think, the important thing here. That'll be three. I will make an artwork. And then I will have Greedy Merchant here. I'm going to have the Greedy Merchant punch the Toll Collector. <laughs> yep. That makes a lot of flavor sense. That's some that's some story moment right there. Yep. That actually That'll be my turn. That actually makes so much sense. I love it. All right. You're on the board. Get my gold. Get my face counter. Things are getting interesting. Okay, I do want some extra draws. So I'll play and abandon this. Draw a card. And then I'll take my draw for... History education. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use brace for impact, targeting these two guys. One, two, three. Brace one, two, for three. impact. Uh, and then these two guys, since they're already hostile, will make two attacks into these individuals. Will do. And then I will play safety regulations for two gold, and then we'll pass like that. Passing like that. Okay. So, adding a counter to history education. Mm -hmm draw off of that take a free draw i will sell my artwork very nice going up to seven i will play a senior tactician <sighs> not what i wanted to see then for two play a drive insane oh no all right one two oh all right that was so lucky and then I will pass my turn. You got lucky rid of my two as in roadblocks. good for me or? Lucky for, you, uh, lucky for me, actually. You got rid of two roadblocks, which yeah. are not relevant anymore. Um, okay. First things first, I'll play Astute Scholar. Uh, I'll have its ability draw me two cards. Uh, then I'll go ahead and use History Education to draw another card. I will use Safety Regulations to buff these two guys again. Unlocking Synergy, gaining myself two gold. And then I will play Private Tutor for one and use this ability to give this denizen's activation limit is increased by one to uh, this Royal Treasure. Um, so now I can activate his Synergy ability one more time, going up to three. Then I'll go ahead and play this, the Grand Lecture Hall, and draw myself a card because I control two or more denizens and I do blue. Uh, then I'll go ahead and abandon the statue, draw one more card. I actually don't have a way to deal with this. I'm gonna play Kind Counselor, using Kind Counselor to buff this guy's health by two. And then for my last gold, I'll play my second Toll Collector. And I'll pass like that. Second Toll Collector. Uh, all right. So, start by taking my free draw. You got a discount on one on every everything you play now. I can't really do anything about it. Well, that, that was the dream. Um, I think I'll do something a little bit goofy. I'll play a senior <laughs> tactician. Another wow. one. So now you have a And then I will two. play a a guilty conscience. Oh no. Getting rid of your two no. synergy pieces, as they say. Now are you gonna get hostile? That's the question. No, I'll be passing my turn. Here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Coward! All right. Trying to be safe. Get my gold return. Go up my phase counters. Uh, all right, so I'll go ahead and take my free draw, and then I'll go ahead and take my history education draw. Let's play Grand Gate first, and then getting another draw, just to check out my options. Uh, and then I'll abandon to get one more draw. Hmm, that was kind of lucky. I'll play another Grand Gate and draw one more time. All right, uh, I think I want to play Tren for sure. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then I'll have Kind Counselor use her ability to buff the Toll Collector. One more Private Tutor. All right, and then I'll activate Safety Regulations, giving two health to my Kitten and to my Astute Scholar. And knowing that you've got Hostile Punishers, I'm terrified to attack now, so I'm just going to end my turn and score one, two, three, four, five times two points, going up to 10. All right, show me what you got. Okay, so I will start my turn. I'll take my free draw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a decorated path. Very Look nice. at the top card. This is where things um, turn around, I will put I that on the bottom. I will abandon that to draw a card. I will play Yumi for one. Nice. Oh, uh, did you pay the extra one for activating your decorated path? Oh, I did not, but I'll do that now. Toll I collector. pay an extra one for the toll collector. Yeah, pay your tolls, buddy. Might be kind of a weird play, but I'm going to dismiss Astute Scholar. Oh, this one? Yeah. All right. That costs you one gold, and your inspiration is now unlocked. Yep. I will then recall mm, okay. for this place. Right. And then I, now your insight's unlocked because a card was put into your hand via an effect. Ooh, I will actually use the Insight. I'll use both of them. Mm -hmm. I will grab a Dishearten. Yep. And then I will also grab a second Dishearten. Two Disheartens, eh? Okay, okay. Why not, right? Why not? Mm -hmm. Duffle. I'll play Remove Distractions for okay. one. I will play Dishearten. Uh -huh. Targeting, I'm going to say Kind Counselor. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to play a oh, yeah, right. Displace on that's your right. Harmless Kitten. Now you go down to one. I will play a Dishearten on, I'm going to say this Private Tutor right here. Okay, he goes down <clears> to a zero one. And then that should be all of my gold. I'm going to have this Senior Tactician mm -hmm. attack into, I'm going to say... Yeah, probably the private tutor. All right. And this senior tactician will attack the other private tutor. Right, and he'll take no damage because style. he's crafty. Yeah. Wow. And then I have played four. I'll activate inspiration, making yep. an artwork and gaining four points. And you can actually sell this if you want to keep your turn going. Can I? Yeah, you can sell it on the turn it comes into play. Oh. It's up to you. You um, haven't sold an item yet. So. I will. So I will immediately sell the artwork to gain two gold i'll play a cunning strategist oh what a blowout and then insight to dismiss the toll collect no right. you know i'll 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 actually do trend i'll dismiss trend okay that will be my turn wow what a blowout that was insane okay i don't know if i can overcome this now i think we've turned a corner here all right well let's play it out anyways let's play harmless kitten Let's play Tren, and then let's activate Tren's ability to put something that will not help me to the bottom. Draw a card. Uh, I'll play this location here. I'll abandon this, and then I'll have the last phase of safety regulations. Give my denizens plus zero plus three thusly, uh, completing it, and then I'll end my turn scoring two points. Pass it over to you, Zach. Okay, so. I will have Remove Distractions, Activate. I will draw two, then discard one. Now you have Triple Insight. I will take my free draw. I'm immediately going to use the Cunning Strategist to... Hmm. Just out of curiosity, if I Insight... Hold on for just a oh, sec. Oh, I see what's going on. You might be able to win this turn if you have the right play, depending on what's in your hand. 
Well, we'll see. We'll see. I gotta think here. You can get a, a double minute. activation on Yumi. So I'll start by playing a family here, Loom, for one. Nice. Okay, Zach, I think you might be able to win because the last card in your hand was displaced, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's see if you can see the line. I think you can actually win this turn. Well, let's hope so. So I'm going to use Senior Tactician's Insight, grabbing an out maneuver. Mm -hmm. And then I will use the second Insight to grab another out maneuver. Nice. So I will immediately sell the family here, Loom. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to outmaneuver, dismiss Yumi. Yep. All right. Play Yumi. So now inspiration. That's I right. will score three points. Yep. And this is so cool. I will then insight, dismiss Yumi, play Yumi. Very Inspiration cool. again. So Yumi, you're down to eight? Um, I will then play another out maneuver. <laughs> so cool. Then playing Yumi again. Inspiration. Right. Two, three. So you should be at six gold now, right? Cost you two gold each time. Yeah. I'm going to abandon familiar road. Hopefully getting... Oh, there we go. That does it. So refuse tactics. Uh, or, tactics sorry, yeah. reuse tactics. And then I will... Displace Yumi. Replaying Yumi for the last time. Inspiration oh, triggering. So cool. Scoring four points. Brilliant. So it be, so it be. That is so, so cool. That is one of the coolest Yumi turns I've ever seen. Well done, Zach. Well, good game. Good games. Good games. All right. So, yeah, the first game, I think. I think the first game, I got out the gates a little too quick, and you had a really nice slow down strategy with the black mora powder but in this game i think we saw the power of having two senior tacticians out in play at the same time i just did not have the ability to remove them and you just went to town and that last turn that was one of the greatest yumi turns i've ever seen congratulations man what a wonderful second game good game good game good game all right well that'll do it for today's episode of champions of meandir gameplay I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. I certainly had a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.